The Samsung Smart Tag and the newly released Apple Air Tag have already hit the shelves. And if you class yourself as a bit of a serial loser of essential items, you'll be wondering if they are worth it. In this video, we will do the ultimate comparison, covering all the important areas like precision finding, range, price, durability, and more. If you are new here, welcome to our channel. I am Amy from cybernews.com, where we talk about everything cybersecurity and tech. Now we will jump into the real life testing very shortly. But first, if you don't know, these trackers are little battery powered tags that are supposedly a great way of tracking the stuff that you always lose. They may be small in size, but their benefits are invaluable. Both AirTag and SmartTag rely on an ecosystem to function. The AirTag uses the Apple-owned network called Find My to operate. Then the SmartTag by Samsung operates similarly. Samsung and Apple have two of the widest networks by far, particularly Apple. In this case, Tile can't really compare. So which out of the two is better? I thought I would start out with a range and tracking test to answer that question. I sent my colleague out for 30 minutes. She had both trackers with my keys on and I had both phones. This test determined how accurately I can track my keys and also which tracker updates its location more efficiently. So in the first 10 minutes of testing, it seemed that the AirTag pinged a whopping five times at 149, 50, 52, 55 and 56. Then we finally heard from the smart tag at 159 as it passed by another Samsung Galaxy phone. At 2 and 202, both tags pinged at the same location, then nothing from both tags for a whole six minutes, and then 212, another air tag update, and at 214, Galaxy. Then we had three final pings from the Samsung tag to finish it off. So overall, they both did a good enough job at tracking, but the air tag just takes the edge with its speedy start. Now, a notable feature of these new trackers is their precision finding or nearby finding. So I wanna try this out and see which experience is the smoothest. With the Apple AirTag, they do have precision finding feature, which works alongside Apple's U1 chip and ultra wideband technology. So I'm hoping it's gonna be pretty accurate. It's here. <laughs> Okay, so we did a range test outside to understand the distance in an outside environment, but really we wanna see how it holds up inside. Found it. What about the Galaxy Smart Tag? I know that they have recently released the Smart Tag Plus. This is far superior to the original. However, only a handful of Samsung Galaxy phones actually support ultra wideband at the moment. So if you do have a plus, let us know how it stacks up down in the comments. Here we go. 13 minutes it took to find this. Turn on search nearby. See how we get on. Start my timer. Let's go. It's here. As I was expecting, Apple was just more efficient at locating the tag with its precision finding. I just wanted to see how much more advanced it really was. So now I wanna just quickly compare the speakers and the volume of these tags. When within a Bluetooth range, you can sound these alarms, but which one is louder? The smart tag has an external speaker and and the air tag is internal. I think when it comes to sound, honestly, the Samsung tag definitely takes the round purely because it is just more audible and it is really as simple as that. Now, moving on to the ease of use. When it comes to setup, they both seem pretty straightforward, but the easiest would have to be the Air Tag. This is mainly because I had to create a whole Samsung account, I had to confirm my mobile number, and I had to go through a lot of tedious accepting of permissions. The Air Tag really is just a few clicks and just more instantaneous. General app navigation is important too, and I found that both are easy enough. Arguably, the Galaxy tag may be a little more complicated in some areas, but only because they are hugely customizable. Overall though, I do favor the AirTag in general, especially for new users. It's just a little more intuitive. Let's get real. Are the tags worth the price? 
Now, from a first glance, there isn't much difference in price. Currently, the Samsung Galaxy Tag comes in at around $29.99. Then the AirTag is $29. Now, don't get too excited about that 99 cents just yet. Apple has pulled a classic move where they charge for the accessories too. The cheapest one that you can get is $12.99, then going up to a whopping $35, which is more than the tag itself. Would you pay that price? He's shaking his head. With the smart tag, they do already have a built-in hole for your keys or whatever. So I think that is a more generous solution. And Samsung just takes the edge when it comes to pricing. Looking at them cosmetically, they may come in at a similar weight and dimensions, but the AirTag just looks a little bit better to me. Although honestly, it does scratch really easily. A big factor also for some is the AirTag is water resistant as opposed to the smart tag. Other than this, they both have generous battery life, both claiming around one year, and they're pretty well built. But if I really had to choose between price and durability, the Galaxy Smart Tag is just less prone to cosmetic damage and more affordable. Now is the moment of truth, everybody. But first, smash like, hit subscribe, and you will see weekly videos from us. There is a few factors to really consider before making your tracker choice. Firstly, your device. Now, it might be an easy pick, say your household is Apple all the way, and all of your devices are Apple. Then it might be a no-brainer. Or then again, you might all have compatible Samsung Galaxy tags. Comfort aside, we're looking towards the future people. So what really is the best choice? If you've made it this far, then you already know that the Samsung Smart Tag is good value for money. But maybe its features just are a little behind the Air Tags. Also, AirTag did really well at helping us quickly locate lost items in a more efficient way. Then again, the Samsung Galaxy's Alarm is just more audible. Having said all of this, I think that the AirTag does just take the win today for me from our testing. As we said, it really depends on what device you're using and also what you deem invaluable from a Bluetooth tracker. Hopefully, this comparison has answered some questions for you. Have you ever tried out any of these trackers? What is your insights? Is Tile enough for you? Throw your thoughts down in the comments and thank you for watching this video. We look forward to seeing you in the next one.